Okay then, so I wasn't really going to make this video, but I think it's about time I clear a few things up. Hello everybody, this is Rockar Gamer 45 and today it's time to talk about PlayStation Doom Reloaded. And some of you might already notice that the name has changed. Why is that? Because we were having a few problems with some people didn't actually know what the point of this project was or what the aims were. Because people thought that PlayStation Doom Trilogy was just all the PlayStation games put into one sort of wad which is just the TC so I can understand why people thought that and people obviously thinking that this project might be a bit pointless if it's that so someone actually recommended to us PlayStation Doom Reloaded from the Doom World forms thanks to that guy that really helps because now we have a better name and it stands for this is a bit better so PlayStation Doom Reloaded is now the new title and it said it represents the wad a lot better because now it shows that it's the PlayStation Doom levels PlayStation Doom style but reloaded into modern times so let's cl clarify what this project actually is so there is going to be three separate games in this wad one's based on Doom 1, one's based on Doom 2 and one is based on Final Doom but let's make this clear there's no level in all of these maps that are actually going to be copy and pasted or look exactly the same to levels from them games these are all brand new levels although they are inspired by by levels from them games. So level 4 in the Doom 1 project might be inspired by level 4 from the Ultimate Doom. Things like that. Nothing's the same but there will be inspirations and as you saw from the trailer you saw a level from Fallen Earth which is dead simple inspired by. Not the same map, there's many differences. We didn't show them off but there was quite a few differences. But also in the Doom 1 you saw the Twilight Descends level which once again it's going to be inspired by that level but it's a completely different layout and actually Yikes Dude who is also part of this project the other half played a playthrough of that map so I'll leave a link in the description for that so that way you know how different the map is and it gives a better idea of what this project is going to be as well so you want to check that one out and of course subscribe to that channel because there's going to be a lot more gameplay over there as well anyway so yeah the brand new maps nothing's the same and what's going to be in these so there's going to be 30 levels and 3 secret levels in each one of these projects. So that does mean that levels like, or games like Doom 2 are going to have brand new exclusive levels in it, instead of just inspiration from the old maps. Because if you know there's only 24 normal levels in the whole of Doom 2, many levels got cut. And since there's going to be 30 normal levels in Doom 2, that means 6 levels are going to be completely exclusive to this project really. Brand new not inspired by any of the other levels so these levels are going to be 100% new so it's going to be new themes, new styles etc but other levels like I mentioned in some of the comments like level 42 which will be level 12 in Fallen Earth is heavily inspired by the factory but once again it is brand level brand new level not actually just copy and pasted Soon we will have actual much better gameplay to prove what we mean. I'm not showing any Doom 2 content just yet, which is the project that I've been working on. Because I'm not really ready for that yet. I'm going to show that off a bit later in the project when most of it's done. But then when you actually see it, it definitely will clarify what we mean. So you'd see a level with very similar parts to the factory. But complete new layout, complete new gameplay, complete new fights as well, so the whole level is just different, it's just inspired by that Pacific level. That's literally all. So yeah, I'll definitely have more to show off that soonish as well. Hopefully you can enjoy that when I get to that point, but for now it's kind of off limits for a while until I'm ready to show it off. So I think it's going to be the same for Doom 1 as well. I don't know yet, because at the minute if you don't know, we're, gonna, we're kind of working on separate games, me and Nyx dude. He's focusing on Doom 1, I'm focusing on Doom 2 and Doom si Doom 64. Well, definitely not. Final Doom is kind of being worked on them both, but at the minute it's probably more Yikes dude, but it's kind of not being worked on as much as the other projects at the minute. We're kind of finalizing them. Doom 1 is a lot better than Doom 2 at the minute in terms of progress, so I've got a lot more work to do. I'm going to try and focus on getting this Doom 2, which is called Fallen Earth, all complete. But that doesn't mean that you won't see us in each project. So I've worked on levels in Doom 1 as well, and Yikes Dude has worked on levels in Doom 2. So it's not a complete kind of 
hundred percent working on different episodes or different games. We have kind of mixed it up here and there as well, especially with Final Doom. That one is going to have a bit more of a mixture between our levels. So that does mean each game will have kind of a different style as well. And also, there's going to be some exclusive stuff in this project. Nothing worth mentioning yet. Nothing we want to reveal yet, that is, as well. And there are actually more exclusive stuff being worked on at this point. So hopefully, it make this project stand out a bit more as well. Hopefully, it make it a bit more enjoyable. Because we don't want this project just being known as kind of extra levels for the PlayStation Doom trilogy. We kind of want it to be its own set of levels, its own game as well, if that makes sense. Since it's going to be like three brand new games, you kind of want it to stand out a bit more. There just needs to be a bit more exclusive content. And we have some, some stuff to show off in a while, I should imagine. Some of that exclusive things. And yeah, that's basically all I'm going to mention in this video. I don't want to go too much into detail. I don't want to spoil anything. Unfortunately, I said there's not much Doom 2 gameplay I want to show off in a minute. Although you did see a couple of maps in the trailer. I will probably play through one of them levels relatively soon, but at this point, like I said, I want to work on this project just a little bit more before I think it's ready to reveal. And definitely the same goes for Final Doom, and I, I'm sure that Doom 1, although it's closer to being complete, is going to be kind of not shown off just yet, but we will see a, probably a bit more of that relatively soon. So if you have any questions about the project, such as what you want to know <laughs> oh my god that was the most stupid thing I think I've ever said in my videos yeah so just let me know and we'll try to answer it I mean if it's something about when it run with this mod when it run with that mod not tested it yet it's most likely going to run with different like project brutality I think things like that it will run with but it will kind of defeat the purpose if that makes sense because it's supposed to be played with like the classic Doom style but if you want to play it like that, that's cool. We're going to test it anyway. I know that Brutal Doom gets updated very regular, so maybe the modern versions won't work. But I know if you just want to play it with at least a basic Brutal Doom mod on it, then I'm pretty sure it'll work. We'll have more information on that in the future as well. But until then, this has been Rock Hard Gamer 45, and I hope this cleared up a few things about this project. Goodbye.